DA leader Helen Ziller has sparked controversy with her party's Know Your DA campaign, which positions the DA as having played a key role in opposing apartheid. The ANC accused the DA of repackaging history and trying to borrow struggle credentials. Ziller replied saying we are simply telling the truth about our history. The ANC has branded the campaign an opportunistic exercise in propaganda. You can't get any closer to the news. Cape Times. A furious Archbishop Desmond Tutu warned the ruling ANC to watch out after the Dalai Lama was denied a visa to attend his 80th birthday party. Tutu said the ANC was pandering to major trade partner China. He branded the government's action as a national disgrace. You can't get any closer to the news. Keep times. A task team investigating the upgrade of President Jacob Zuma's Nkandla homestead confirmed that 206 million rent in public funds has been spent on the project. <clears throat> Suma claims the improvements are limited to security and operational upgrades. He maintains his family residence was self-funded. However, <clears throat> included in the splurge is a tax shop, a visitor center, and a gym. You can't get any closer to the news. Cape Times. At 315 GMT. U.S. President George W. Bush declared war against Iraq. Bush says intelligence reports confirm that the Iraqi regime is concealing weapons of mass destruction. World leaders have condemned the attack. France's president, Jack Chirac, said the war would have serious consequences for the future. Bush is standing by his actions. He said the war on terror involves Saddam Hussein because of the nature of Saddam Hussein, the history of Saddam Hussein, and his willingness to terrorize himself. You can't get any closer to the news. Cape Times. Former ANC Youth League President Julius Malema is homeless, penniless, and carless after his possessions were taken to repay the 16 million rand he owes SARS. SARS has applied to the High Court to have Malema sequestrated in order to find out if he has a hidden asset. Aside from this investigation, Malema faces 51 counts of corruption, money laundering and racketeering in a case brought against him by the Hawks. You can't get any closer to the news. Cape Times. One Night of Passion a letter as read in the font. Baskerville, old face. Dear Kyle, OMG, you are a jackhammer. I'm so turned on as I sit here writing this letter in my panties. I'm sorry about the scratch marks, but you make me lose control. Oh, did I use too much teeth? I'm sure I'll get better with practice. Let's meet at my place after class for a quickie, okay? Winking, smiley face. Love, Brittany. P.S. Is it still called a hickey if it's not on my neck? Rather write it in your own voice. Write it with a uniball pen. Happy is dead. A letter as read in the font. Comic sense! <laughs> Dearest Sandy, I regret that I do not write with good news. Grandpa Johnson passed away last night. <laughs> His death came as a terrible shock to the family. I wish I could say that he died peacefully in his sleep. But it didn't happen that way. <laughs> Moments before he drew his final breath, he clenched the sheets and muttered the words, Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Grandpa will be sorely missed. Yours uh, in sadness. Love, Jill. Rather write it in your own voice. Write it with a uniball pen. Please come home to me. A letter 
as read in the font. Impact uppercase. Dear Mary, I write this letter with a heavy heart. Since the day you left, my world is nothing but an empty hovel of sadness. The sound of my sobbing is only muffled by the comforting melody of our favorite song. You know, the one from the notebook. The part where they dance in the rain. I miss you, my little Woogle Muffin. Will you come home to me? X-O-X-O, Neville. Rather write it in your own voice. Write it with a uniball pen. Bust you out. A letter as read in the font. Edwardian script. What up, homie? It's whack that 5-0 bust you shifting bricks of defunky Buddha. I ain't just spitting, yo. Every day we be respecting with the 40 on the floor for our peeps in lockdown. But word up, me and my homie T-Bone, we got a hood snitch up in the pen. We gone cut you loose like a noose, my dukes. And you be chillin' the crib and knockin' boots with some hood rats. Got a bounce, dog? Respect, Big Papa G. Rather write it in your own voice. Write it with a uniball pen. <laughs>